Hello and welcome to this first video um, in a series I'm going to do and it's just going to be a brief update on the production of a, a new uh, sort of micro layout that I'm going to have indoors. Um, I know we're most of the way through the winter now but it's um, a little bit of a winter project really for when I'm not able to work outside on the Summerhampton Railway and uh, do running out there. Now uh, the full extent of the board, the board is five foot long at, um, along its longest side and at the far end down here it's only 16 inches wide uh, and at the end where the camera is it's 34 inches wide. There's a sweeping arc at the front. My intention for the layout is to replicate a very small um, area part of a an internal military railway uh, which is something I have an interest in and it will involve a standard gauge to narrow gauge transfer shed. Um, now I've seen these in the past when it was open um, at Chilmark um, in Wiltshire where standard gauge wagons were brought into transfer sheds for their loads of armaments to be transferred onto the narrow gauge railway and then those armaments were stored in underground magazines. The depot at Chilmark closed in 1995 um, but that, that is the inspiration for this little bit of a layout that I'm going to try and produce. Uh, the videos I'm going to do are just uh, keep you updated on how progress is being made um, as and when I get a chance to work on it. Now my original idea is um, sort of laid out roughly here on the board and that's for a single line to come in from around the back into a run round loop where there will be a platform and a very small run round loop here uh, where you can run round just a single coach as with the Longmore Military Railway coach there or just three wagons. There'll be a couple of additional sidings and then a siding here which will go into the transfer shed itself where the goods will then be transferable uh, to the narrow gauge, the 009 line which will come along here. Now the 009 line will be uh, only operate, the, the intention that I had was for it to only operate in one direction, it'd be slight an opt optical illusion where the track comes down at the transfer shed down here. Um, originally the idea is that the baseboard may be ri ri um, raised by two inches or so and the narrow gauge line will come down a gradient and into a magazine which will start about here, disappear underground. The narrow gauge line will then take a sharp curve around the back of the layout passing underneath the standard gauge line which at this point uh, this line will mark a sort of scenic background and this will be just like a fiddle yard an off scene area. So the narrow gauge line will go round the back all the way around the back of the layout and climbing as it comes back up to the level that the standard gauge is at and it will come round the back and back into the transfer shed. The transfer shed will be roughly about here and we'll go to about there. There'll be a full sort of back scene here and the train will just keep appearing out of the transfer shed on the 009. The main part of the layout will be operation of the standard gauge lines either with a single coach passenger service or bringing just a couple of wagons into the transfer shed. I think the clearance we're going to need for the narrow gauge is about uh, two inches and uh, I don't think that'll be too much of a problem it will have to fall across the front of the layout by that two inches in the space of about two foot 
Now, that may seem very, very steep, but then again, we are talking about an arrow gauge, so I don't think it'll look too out of place. If that's the case, and that's what we go for, the entrance to the magazine will be around here, near the front of the board, and the actual curvature and the where the uh, narrow gauge passes under the standard gauge will be in this area here, which will be effectively off, off the layout and off scene. As I say, with a, a back scene coming around here, and then going around the back there, and then the back scene will come around the back of the transfer shed. The narrow gauge disappearing through the back scene and out here, which you won't be able to see because another board will be put there to seal that view off. Um, lots of bushes and trees then will line the back scene and um, as I say a small platform here for passenger services and people coming to the uh, transfer shed to work and various other military style buildings, Nissan huts, perhaps a servicing point for the locomotives in this middle area here. Um, if I could achieve it another magazine uh, for the narrow gauge to go into would be good. Uh, might involve another slope and um, but if I do that it will be just a, a scenic element and it won't be operational the, um, the 009 part I want to keep really simple as I say it will be just like an optical illusion and um, the trains will just run around a, a, a loop a, a basic oval shall I say uh, in one direction well um, that's about all for now. Um, when I've actually made a little bit of progress and made some decisions on how the layout is going to look, um, I'll do another little video and update people from there. So um, bye bye for now and I'll speak to you soon.